In the 1970s and 1980s, if you were to tune into shortwave radio frequencies across the world, you would hear a rat-tat-tat noise permeating from seemingly nowhere. This ticking sound infused into communication networks around the world and even disrupted television signals. It was soon found that the signal was coming from a massive device built by the Russians, nicknamed the Woodpecker, a reference to its repetitive tapping noise. The Woodpecker was a network of antennas with two arrays hidden deep in the woods near Chernobyl, Ukraine, and a third one on the Russian Pacific coast. This mysterious and obtrusive antenna network together formed an early warning radar system called Duga that the Soviets implemented to detect incoming ballistic missiles. It's hard to grasp the scale of this massive antenna array without reference. One near Chernobyl, the Duga 3 array was 2,010 meters wide, 85 meters tall, and made up of more than three. 300 individual transmitters. That's the equivalent width of four and a half Empire State Buildings laid end to end in the height of a 28-story building. The devices operated at extremely high power levels, requiring 10 million watts each, which was needed to achieve proper resolution. These power levels allowed the signals to reach massive distances without any form of amplification. The signal the antennas would output would bounce around frequencies in the range of 7 to 20 megahertz and had a bandwidth of 40 kilohertz. As the entire system was first shrouded in mystery to the rest of the world, the signal source was quickly triangulated by both hobbyists and NATO to be originating from modern-day Ukraine. Ham radio operators built woodpecker silencing devices that would send out a wave essentially reversed to the signal transmitted from the Duga arrays. These two opposite waves would cancel each other out, the same way that active noise cancelling works today, thus removing the annoying rat-tat-tat noise from radio waves. While the large antennas in the signals that exuded from them pestered the world's radio signals, they served a rather innovative purpose at the time. The signal worked by detecting small variances in a return signal from the radio waves it transmitted. The ground would naturally return a signal bounced back from the transmitted waves, but they would be essentially the same as those transmitted. Instead of listening for this return, receiving arrays would listen for the transmitted signal at a slightly higher pitch. Thanks to something called the Doppler effect, a missile flying through the air would return a higher pitched signal. Much like how a police siren sounds higher pitched when it's coming towards you, the return signal bounced off a missile would have a higher frequency. By tracking this change, the Soviets could detect and track missiles at great distances. Luckily, a higher pitched return was never detected because if it was, a nuclear war likely would have broken out. When the Cold War came to an end in 1989 and the Soviet Union broke apart, the woodpecker eventually fell silent and ultimately obsolete due to new satellite systems. So, that's the story of a mysterious tapping noise that permeated the world's radio signals for nearly two decades and a missile detection network that could have triggered World War III. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, share, and subscribe.